Hello again everyone and welcome back to The Wolf Among Us. We are back here in episode 4 and uh, we just had a little conversation with uh, Nerissa. Um, found out that the ribbon she has on her neck is, is what is preventing her from actually telling anybody anything about what's going on. But at the same time, that ribbon can't be removed, otherwise she dies, essentially. Uh, so yeah, a bit of a bad situation. But I think she has hinted that whatever Beauty and Beast have to tell us might be the next place to go for us. So we'll, we'll see where, where we end up. She was looking for financial assistance. I told her there was nothing I could do and and she said that meant she'd have to go somewhere else. Crooked man. Bigby. You don't think she meant that she was going to go to the Crooked Man, Yep, she was in a lot of debt to her. That would explain why they called. To him, sorry. We need to solve this before something else happens. Who knows what? I have other matters to attend to. Very abrupt end to that conversation. Lovely. Well, I guess we're going to see Beauty and Beast again then. Once upon a time. Who's in Beast Apartments? Right, so we get to actually move around now, I guess? Yes, we do indeed. We'll go here. What you were into either. Good reason. Look what happened. So that's back on me now. I thought we agreed that God. it was settled. You said it was settled. Let's lock on the door. I have to agree. Actually, wait, let's just wait a second. When were you going to tell me? Or were you just going to keep that a secret too? You know what it was. You know what was going on here. I had to get a job, and you wouldn't have it. Don't make it into something it wasn't. It's the principle of it. Don't act like you weren't keeping secrets, too. If you're going to bring up ancient history, I don't have to stand here and listen. Fine. Go off and Oh, hop. let's knock now. I'm, I'm... Just, in, just in case they come out and see me standing there. Oh. What do you want? Well, you're just going around knocking on doors? You called? You called, right? Or, uh, was it beauty? Why would I call you? Still doesn't like me then. Great. Listen, I've had a shitty night. Do you think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been Beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. <laughs> God. Can I? So have you, Bigby. Yet, with all the sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. I've had to hear about it all night long from her. Is it? Who's there? Can I talk Me? to him? Invite me Are in. Are you gonna let me in or what? It's your pal, Big B. Hi, Big B. Please excuse us for just a minute. No problem. Can I talk to you in private? Yes. Let's. Can we have a little bit of a snoop around while we're away? Mm. Yes, I really do have the smallest Jesus, apartment. Jesus, this is a lovely the apartment, isn't it? I can already tell you're going to make a problem out of this. What's he doing here? We don't need to bring him into this. Beast. I just don't think we can trust him. Not after the way he went behind my back. And then you run. Do be careful, baby. Again? Well, I trust mm. him. Of course you do. Talk about Let's living in the secret. past. It was one little thing. Do you want to keep fighting about that? Or do you want to try to sort this out? All I'm saying is we can handle this on our own. You didn't have to bring him here. We're out of money. And answers. That's why I called. We'll finish this later. I know what the electric but bill is for that thing. To Big B. <laughs> Fuck. Sorry, it's been a long night. Yeah, you know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. Wow. I gotta say, your place, it looks, uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? Beast! No, really, I want to know. What are you trying to say, huh? Did you come to give us decorating Aren't you tips? in debt? I thought you were having money problems, but it doesn't look like you're suffering to me. Snow told me you went to her for some financial help. Did you end up going to the Crooked Man? I didn't know what else to do. We so... should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate I things. I called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's what best for us. What kind of trouble us. are you in? Well, what kind of trouble are you in? 
Either it's the money, or it's something else. I gotta know one thing first. What if we did have something to say about the Crooked Man? What if we talk, and you don't get it? And all this comes back on us? We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the Crooked Man. And I don't know if it's worth it. If you're if honest, you can't I'll protect give us you. Certain assurances. I can protect you, but only if you tell me what I need to know. And that means details. No more stonewalling. We aren't. And just tell me what's going on here. Look, we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle, okay? We couldn't just give that we up. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn, and we got in over our heads. There's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like... Anybody gonna answer that? Hi there, you've reached Beauty. And Beast. And we're out doing something fabulous. Um, let me just, uh... A day at the beach? Skiing the slopes? <laughs> Can we finish? If finish this conversation first? Right I now, should get so that. Leave a Come message on. at the beep and we'll get back to you as soon as... <laughs> humanly possible. Beep! That fucking message. I'm gonna come down there and bash your heads in with that machine if I have to call again and hear that fucking message one more time. Is that Bluebeard? No, it's not. I've been doing this long enough to know that if you had the cash, you'd have paid That's the head. crooked man. So consider yourselves out of warnings. Oh, is that Bluebeard? Time to start thinking about how else you can settle this. Cause next time, Whose voice is this? I'm making a house call. Who is that? The crooked man's gonna get his, one way or another. Well, we already knew she was in debt from the All the I care man. about is, how can I find the Crooked Man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? The Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. Oh, joy. The Crooked Man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So, when I needed money... That's where I went. Hey, who's Jersey? I didn't know what to do. Wait, who do you deal with? Jersey. You know, the Jersey Devil. Oh yeah, that slimy prick. I didn't realize he was back on this side of the river. And those Tweedles were always going in and out. Probably dropping off a loan payment they squeezed out of some poor fable. But never the Crooked Man. Mainly it's just regular fables. I can see now that it was a mistake, but... I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I guess he's hit hard times, too. Oh God. There's a lot of that going around. I can't imagine he has a lot oh, of Oh, yeah, it was the woodsman's axe Mary was using. Sometimes, her there. fables just don't have anywhere else to go. Fucking Bloody Mary must go through there. She had Woody's axe last night. Trying to chop my damn head off with it. Maybe if you go there, you can... Sort some things out. I guess I'll go I check so. out the lucky pawn. If I can't track down the crooked man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the crooked man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get beauty in trouble. And. You know that butcher shop, the cut above? It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Typical. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the crooked man. Oh god, they're both working and for them? I don't think it's meat in the packages. You, you gotta understand, I need it work. What are you, you have delivering? To believe us. Well, what are you delivering? What's going on there? How does this fit into the crooked man's operation? I couldn't tell you, but I do know this. It's the only meat market in town that doesn't carry filet. I'm not sure how much actual butchery goes on there. How did you get involved with this? Johan the Butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. And it's the only thing I've been able to pick up. God. And it's still not enough. 
Mary always I don't want there. Beauty to have to work. Especially not where she was. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. But I've seen her around there. She, uh, gets under my skin, you know? I, I try to avoid her. But I don't need to tell you what she's You're like. damn right you don't. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. If Mary works out of there, I need to look into it. I just wanted to provide for beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. We shouldn't have to live like this. Scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Big B. Ouch. Probably not. No. Probably not. So, where are you going? If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. Is this a choice of where to go then? Lucky Pawn or the butchery? I'm gonna go to the Lucky Pawn, I think. I'm going to the Lucky Pawn. There's too much going on there to ignore. I'll have a word or two with Jersey. You know, Bigby, once you show your face there, word is going to get out. There may be nothing left to see if you go to the butcher shop after. Well, I guess I'll find out. Well, it's one or the other, isn't it? Wait. I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the Crooked Man, but is there any way you could help us out? What do you mean? Well, maybe you can make this all just go away. We would really appreciate it. What do you say? Can you help us out? I'll handle I'll it. I'll handle it. I'm not gonna let that crooked bastard ruin any more lives. Oh, thank you, Big B. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. So they they want us to get rid they want they want me to get rid of the crooked men essentially. Lovely. Can't imagine that's gonna be the easiest thing. It's dirty. No, it's not. It looks like you slept in it. In a pile oh, look, of it's garbage. Jack. Jack, why are you I've seen you take a torn purse for a tenner. Yeah, but I also got her phone number. <laughs> I don't want your phone number. You sleazy bastard. Ugh, really? Whoa. Bigby's here. Oh. This is a surprise. This is official business. I'm just here for information. It's about the murders. This will take two minutes and I'll be out your way. I'm not taking the coat. But it's magic. So? And it'll be covering a check I already wrote. Okay, well, that sounds like a your problem problem to me. Yeah, it is. And so I came here to sell it off. Why would you think I'd take an ugly used yeah, it's mule skin coat? Because yeah. it's magic mule go skin. Before That's I take the coat. Jack said he doesn't want the coat. So it's time to go, Toad. Move along before I confiscate it. Whoa, if it's even on the business office's radar, I want no part of it. No sale. Good night, Irene. You blaster coward. Thanks for nothing, Sheriff. Posing on the common man he is would be so tough if he wasn't a sheriff and he didn't have a teeth or the claws or the oh, bollocks. So if you're gonna be out Jesus. like this, can't you at least wear a bigger hat? Have a good day. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Drop by anytime. Sorry, well, alright. Sorry, alright. What else do you want from me? He really grows on you. <laughs> oh, that changes the expression says it all. For the extra cash. It's something stable. You know, between more entrepreneurial bouts. Bloody Mary works for the Crooked Man. And the last time I saw her, she had the Woodsman's axe. So? So the last time anybody else saw that axe, it was here. We'd never take something like that. <laughs> of course Is this you wouldn't. Really? Why you came down here? The Woodsman's axe? 
It will lead the crooked man. It. Yeah, that's why I came down here. It'll lead me right to the crooked man if I can track it. He's been sending people to kill me, and I'd like to have a little chat about that. Was the axe here? No. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I think I'd notice a giant mystical axe. And that's saying something. Since, you know, I can sometimes miss the obvious. Mind if I look around? Wouldn't mind if I look around for a bit, then. And what if I did mind? This is a shop. You can't actually do that. Got it. Listen, <laughs> I gotta start closing up shop, so, uh... Close? It's the middle of the day. What can I say? Jersey likes to run at odd hours. Yeah, you're talking really, bollocks, Jack. Really, he'd be the one to talk to, so... Can't you just swing by later? It really wouldn't be good for me if he sees your you're face hiding when he walks something. in. So, uh... I still think you're hiding something, Jack. Maybe the axe is back here. It's not. It was bad enough in the woodsman's hands. And if it's not here, I need to track down that psycho who had it last. It's not here. You better hope not. Can't you Shut just... up, Jack. <laughs> the Jersey Devil isn't here to answer my questions. It also means he isn't here to get in my way. So I'm gonna take a look around. As long as I've got the elbow room. Alright. Don't let me get in your way. I won't. <laughs> have a look around then. What's the anvil for? Blacksmith didn't need it. I haven't seen him around for a while. The Headless Horseman. Isn't this Cranes? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> He's definitely hiding something. This is Prince Lawrence's dagger. Oh, previously used, eh? I don't know. Look, are you almost done? A dagger isn't exactly the axe, so... Who would have pawned uh, this? Who done that? One of the Tweedles? Whoever did it must have needed the money bad, which shouldn't come as a total shock. You don't know how hard most of us have it, do you? I know what it's like. No, I know how it is. It was a rhetorical question, but sure, fine. This was this one. Okay. Oh, hello there. I thought you said you'd never take something like this. Uh, uh, what? I, I, do, I don't, uh... You lied to me. piece of shit, Jack. Oh, okay, come on, Bigby. That wasn't... The axe it. was right here all along. Now tell me what happened to it. I don't know anything about that. I don't, really. I mean, I don't work uh -oh. every day, so... Uh, and even when I do work, I just try to keep my head down. Last chance. What happened to the axe? It was Mary. She took it, okay? That's all I know. That's all you know? You don't know she almost fucking killed me with it last night? No. No. I had no goddamn idea. She sometimes comes in to pick up shit. Sometimes it's for her. Sometimes it's for the crooked man. She say anything about... About the crooked man's plans. About Crane? What? You think we're friends? I try not to even look that crazy chick in the eye. Well, for your sake, you better think of something to tell me. That's all I can tell you. I'm being straight here. I'm just part-time. I mean, it's Jersey who's the one who's into this stuff. He's one of the crooked man's boys, okay? And it'd be great if he was here to tell you all this, but he's not. So just... Jersey, don't... don't give me that shit. What the fuck is the point of having a... Oh, look who it gonna... is. My fucking sister. But you... you're the guy who makes sure I'm the... the guy to keep shit in order, and that's it, Woody. Who closed the fucking gate? Jack? Mm. If you love your ex so fucking much, why'd you pawn it in the first fucking place, huh? I didn't pawn it, asshole. It was stolen from my apartment. And Grant said that he saw it here. Now tell me where it is right fucking now. I think while well, Tempest is really high. Woody, calm down. Your ex isn't here. Christ. And this fucking guy, too? Bigby. What? It isn't? Nope. It isn't. <laughs> Just like Thanks, I Jack. said, it's not here. Happy? I got shit to do, so whatever you're here for, make it snappy. Uh, he wanted to know where... Actually, you know what? I don't care what he wanted. Wait, a we're not for finished you. yet. You work with the Crooked Man. And until I give you permission, 
You're not gonna do anything but answer my questions. Uh, how's your arm? Bloody Mary leaves a bit of a stink, don't she? Jack, did you know that as of this very morning, Bigby's joined the Crooked Man's Obedience School for wayward fucking creatures? He's already passed his first class. You see, the sheriff had who he stupidly thought was the murderer. Been chasing him for fucking days. This right guy knows fucking man everything. Right snapped his bony fingers, and Bigby handed him over just like that. I'm, uh, just gonna... Well, I think we're gonna leave this episode too. here. You know. Because... It's getting a bit dicey. Um, yeah, thank you all very much for watching, guys. Hope you have enjoyed. If you have them, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. I'll catch you in the next episode of The Wolf Among Us. Thanks again, guys. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. <laughs>